Now, the Boston Athletic Association is spelling out how it plans to hold a safe in-person Boston Marathon this fall. WBZ Sports Director Steve Burton joins us now. And Steve, I think runners are going to notice some pretty big changes. No question about it. This year's Boston Marathon will definitely have some changes. But after two and a half years between races, it would be great just to see the runners back out there on the course, folks. Perhaps the biggest change right now for the participants is that there will be no athletes village where the runners would wait until it was their turn to start the race. Instead, there will be a rolling start with athletes assigned specific start times. Uh, that will sync up with the buses that bring the runners from Boston to Hockerton. Participants in the in-person race may need to submit up to two negative COVID tests before race day, regardless of their vaccination status. While entry fees remain the same, there will be an additional $25 fee to support the cost of the COVID-19 health and safety protocols. And for the first time, get this, entrants will also have the opportunity to buy registration insurance, which would allow you to have your entry fees refunded for things like injury, illness, or even the loss of a job. Registration for the in-person Boston Marathon opens on April 20th.